Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthroughs! I thought I would show you what a anti-meta deck would look like if there was some sort of hev heavily competitive tournaments of... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there really is no like tournaments for the Pokemon Trading Card Game 2 as far as I'm aware, so I don't know if this format has been fully explored, or explored as much as I have explored it, so anyway, we're gonna go show you the Metronome deck. And as you would expect by the name, it's based around the Metro- well, sorta kinda based around the uh, Clefairy and- the, well, first that puts it to sleep. Going to Clefable, Metronome there is the same as this Metronome, so I'll, gi I'll give you the rundown of this. It's two less energy if you evolve. Choose one of the defending Pokémon's attacks, Metronome copies that attack, except for its energy costs, and anything else a card in order to use that attack, such as discarding energy cards. So, you could torch stuff with uh, Charizard for 100 without a discard. <laughs> well, assuming, you know, they got Charizard out or something like that, but, you know, that typically Charizard is not played in competitive because of its high energy costs. Kinda difficult with energy removal is running rampant and is minimized for you're stalling, but it's mainly going to be more for the metronome than anything. Uh, the other anti-meta thing here you might have seen is Muck. Ignore all Pokemon powers other than toxic gases. So this stops stuff like Rain Dance, Blastoise, Hay Fever, Dark Vile Plume, uh, even Dodrio's Retreat A, because the low lowering retreat cost of the Retreat Aid is uh, pretty handy to stop with that in general. So yeah, toxic gas is something that you want to keep on your bench, you don't want to put it out there. Sure, it has an attack, but you don't want to put it out as your bait, as your attacker unless you absolutely have to. Because, yeah, you just want that for the Pokémon power. Uh, for the Grimer of choice, though, in case I end up attacking with it, I chose this version. It's got 50 HP, which is higher than the other one by 10, and it can cause paralysis for 1 energy and 10 damage always. Minimize can also stall similar to the uh, Clefairies. I mean, uh, Clefable, excuse me. <laughs> uh, for Scyther, you kind of could use any other beatdown critter that you like. It, it wouldn't make that much of a difference, you just need to kind of change your energy around accordingly. Like, you could even use this Grimer with any energy, because the colorless nasty goo, but I just chose Scyther because I figured that it kind of match if I actually have to use Muck for something like that, you know, with the Grass Swords Dance to double the slash. So, yeah. And the last critter, Kangaskhan, like the Muck, pretty commonly used. <laughs> Because if it's fetch and colorless attacks via the common punch, and you know you have the double colorless energy and the like, so you know just 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 see how that kind of it worked before. <laughs> Same with Scyther too, but uh, for the traders, you know it also worked for energy removal, super energy removal. Again, because there isn't that much energy to go around, I only have two supers, so yeah. I mean, I do have some ways to recycle energy. But for the most part, I just kind of kind of held back a little bit on that, because I don't have ways to rapidly attach energy cards to Pokémon, and yeah. Professor Oak with the draw power. Gust of Wind is a nice combo with Clefable in certain circumstances, because you can pretty much foil the opponent's plan by putting in something powerful that they have that they are trying to set up, and then you use their powerful attack against their powerful Pokémon, yeah. Uh, computer search, search what you want, basically. Uh, I, I think I could also use Pokemon Trader for that in a lot of cases, too. But computer search is just more versatile, even if it means I have to discard two. But, you know, Professor Oak can make up for that if I search for that and the like. Uh, search for the high retreat cost Pokemon. Well, semi high retreat cost Pokemon, I should say. Because, like, Kangaskhan has got a three. It'll probably have two double colorless energy on it, but do you want to burn those? Probably not. Uh, Muck will probably have no energy on it, because there's no intent on attacking with it, but it's got two retreat costs. So, if I have to put it out there, because of some opponents move like a gust of wind, it's nice to switch it back out. Bill for the draw power, Nightly Garbage Run for the recyclables, and Rocket Sneak Attack and Rocket Trap at three. I thought about four and four, but I was kind of running low on space here, so I was like, eh, I should hold back a little bit, because... 
after you use these enough, they'll, they kind of end up being dead weight in a way. Like, how many cards can you discard from your opponent's hand with the, <laughs> with the rocket strap or sneak attack? You know what I mean? So, yeah, I thought 3 and 3 was fine for that sort of purpose. And there is anti meta. And you know, with rocket sneak attack, you can also see what they're what they have in their hand and what's coming and the like, so that that's another way that you can call it a anti-meta. And anyway, this so one's after you hear it with an inscription. Well, Snare Master Magician, Invincible Pokemon deck. Yes, I'd be happy to fight you. It's been tiring waiting for opponents. And Mr. Stall is here once again. Allow me to show you my Invincible Pokemon deck. Oh man. So, well, he, I, I shouldn't say his deck is stall. I mean, yeah, his deck does have a lot of stalling elements and a lot of ways to heal itself, but it's not specifically stall, I would say. I'd say it's more about just outlasting the opponent. I got Clefairy Clefable right away. That's pretty nice to see. Um, but do I want to leave with Scyther? Oh, I don't have any draw power. That's weird. No computer search. No Professor Oak. No Bill. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Clefairy. Scyther on the sidelines. And six prize cards. Give me heads, please. Oh, I forgot to change a coin. Well, <laughs> there's so many opponents. And there's my draw power. And there's Mr. Mime. That would be a prime candidate for a mucking because of that invisible wall. Just saying. But anyway, we're going to try and put it to sleep in general. Plop it on there. Kangaskhan on the bench. And sing. That will disable its Pokemon power when it's sleeping, so, well, I, it's probably going to end up waking up, so... <laughs> I think the other Clefairy is probably better for this deck in different sort of situations and neutral damage. Uh, but I just chose this one because it's also got Metronome and I didn't really show this version of Clefairy before. But, yeah. Yeah, anyway, Professor Oak. Getting the sh reshuffling of the Hansies. No attackies. Um, oh, I could do that. And like, I don't know why he's putting the energy on Mr. Mime. He can't do any damage to my unless he's planning on retreating it. And Metronome. So I choose the attack I want to use. Meditate, and it will do 10 damage because it's colorless Pokemon versus Psychic, as opposed to copying the Psychic type as well. So yeah, and. You do that, and do absolutely not- Oh yeah, that's right, neutral damage. I said neutral damage, I'm an idiot. Uh, oh yeah, super energy removal, that would be probably nice to use there in the Mr. Mine, if the thing's gonna be an issue after all, so... <laughs> and... I should know. Yeah, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't choose Miss uh, Minimize, I'm just joking around with my cursor. And now I can't do any more damage to Mr. Mime because of the invisible wall, but if I get Muck out there, I'll be able to disable that. That's another way to uh, call it anti-meta because Muck here, yep. Um, just wipe that out. Can I attack with something to just nick away at that Mr. Mime? Uh, kinda not. Uh... I'll put Clefairy on the bench. Because, yeah, if I use uh, Metronome again, which I'll just use for the heck of it, it'll do zero because it overshadows the invisible wall. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> just need more draw power to get that Grimer. And also, uh, if I need to, I guess I'll discard the muck and then put it back in the deck to search for like, again later. Which is the idea of trying to get past the Mr. Mime, which is. A, a pretty good stall. <laughs> and the, uh, um, well, that's a nice recycling abracadabra alakazam. It's the perfect. Ooh, um, okay. So, I guess we should plop that on there. And yeah, discard the muck, unfortunately, for now. Uh, he might just end up running himself out of cards based on how stally this is, but there is that. Um,. That we shall see. Grass, grass. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> uh, problem. Hmm. That's a tough choice. His Pokemon Center, he can, you know, at the uh, if he has Alakazam, which he can get with Pokemon Breeder, 
you can then heal stuff with Pokemon Center, but on the other hand, if I get rid of Pokemon Center, he'll get Alakazam anyway. So probably Pokemon Breeder? Probably. <laughs> and yeah, he's got Bill, but yeah, his chances are he's gonna get something else. He's got another invisible wall. But I <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go for the computer search. If there is no muck, I'm gonna go for the uh, uh, nightly garbage run to put it back in the deck. Yeah, there it is. So what else do I have in the deck here really quick? That's a that's a pretty nice little uh, a little setup coming there. I've got to say. <laughs> All right, so muck it is. So when I put that in play, the neutral damage will be gone, but that Mr. Mime can currently attack me. But well, I kind of can't. Oh, uh... well, maybe I should put this in play just in general, and uh... yeah, I'll call it a turn. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Hopefully, you won't get another energy for Mr. Mime to kind of nick away at. Clefable here, because Mr. Mime's Invisible Wall... Oh, he's doing a switch! Because Mr. Mime's Invisible Wall is a uh, pretty successful Pokémon power. That's why I'm disabling that. <laughs> and put that on the Clefable. Behold the Meditate! So now the Mr. Mimes are kinda... kinda in a pickle, because Muck is hanging out there. Now remember, don't put out Muck unless you absolutely have to. You've got other attackers. You don't need that poison, you just want the toxic gas, which I guess is technically a poison. But I mean, you don't need the poison active Pokémon attack, yes, yes. Oh, and also, um, since I disabled neutral damage, there is no damage uh -huh, coming to my Clefable now. <laughs> That's the power of the muck. Anyway, I should probably put this on something. I was thinking the Kangaskhan in case I need to put it out there. And meditate for 20 damage, and then since the Pokemon power is disabled, I'll be able to do it for uh, 30 on the next turn. Switching that was kind of pointless. I don't, like, I don't know what you're, go what you're going for here. Maybe the AI is just not, uh, doesn't understand the, how muck works here. Uh, I wonder if I should Gusts of Wind into that Mr. Mime to wipe out its energy, but probably not, because Clefable's doing pretty well. So yeah, normally, as I showed you before, that would be blocked. Nope! <laughs> never never would otherwise see 30 or more damage on a Mr. Mime, so... And Abra's not going to be able to do any damage either, because neutral damage has been disabled. So yeah, that's... Don't underestimate Muck. <laughs> it's a strategy ruiner. Um, just trying to think of if I want to energy removal something here. Probably not. Uh, I think I'll even leave my bench as is. And I'm gonna go Sun Shock! Because we do not want to vanish back into the deck. And we got heads off that. There we go. I mean, especially with our nice setup. Although, like, I do have another Clefable. Uh, that cadaver won't be doing any damage either. Put that on Kangaskhan. Metronome to the... Oh, that's right, I forgot to check the... Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait! Cypanic! It says, if I do believe... That it's doubled if the attack, uh, the one you're trying to hit is psychic type. So this should do 60. Oh, I know my cards. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah. So Clefable's metronome because it's so cheap. It's pretty easy to keep going even if the opponent is energy or moving on top of that. So, yep. Uh, how many cards in the eight cards in the hand? Uh, I figured. All right, let's try the rocket strap anyway. I suppose. Uh, well, uh, here's with a shot. Maybe I should hold on to that grass in case I need energy in the future. Because I'm pretty well set, even with Kangaskhan, because I can put that energy onto it. There's another rocket's trap. Uh, it might be nice to wipe something out there. And Alakazam. Damage swap, sure. 
go ahead if you'd like to. But I'm gonna cause... Uh... Oh, that's right, I, I disabled damage swap! <laughs> I was just saying, go ahead and move those damage counters. No, no, no! And Rocket's Trap again. Oh, man, I just knocked out six cards from his hand. He's at... <laughs> Zero cards. Yeah, anti meta kind of on the powerful side. Um, so, neutral damage normally would, you know, he'd be able to get attacks through to Clefable, but with Muck, that ain't happening. So since he's using all sorts of uh, uh, psychic Pokemon and seemingly only psychic Pokemon, I think I won. <laughs> anyway, Metronome, Confuse Ray, maybe I could even cause, there we go. Cause Confuse Ray to boot. So yeah, um, I didn't even really have to worry about Alakazam, come to think of it, with the whole Pokemon Center dealio. Uh, I'll save that. Metronome, Confuse Ray, because, you know, disables the... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> and unless he's able to power up something, it ain't happening. I don't really even see, yeah. No energy to be found thanks to the energy removal. <laughs> Although, I think his deck is sorta of, kinda of bricking, but even so, I don't really think he'd be able to get out of this all that easily. Just, he, doesn't, he doesn't seem to have the cards for it, you know what I mean? Uh, Metronome. Psy Shock. Might actually, yeah, uh, because it's gonna take a little while to wipe out this Abra with, <laughs> with just the uh, Metronome. Yeah, that's kind of an issue with Metronome, in a way, is that you're dependent on the opponent having a decent attack, so if you aren't really using Gust of Wind, and, well actually if you don't have Gust of Wind, excuse me, you're kind of stuck with that. I mean, I do have Gust of Wind, but I mean, yeah, I, I don't know if there's anything I really want to switch to here, in all honesty. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's just kind of a way to nick away at his Pokémon as we go. I could switch to Kangaskhan, though, relatively easily, which I may just do. Because it's a similar situation as the Clefable, and I already showed you how the Clefable works anyway. Oh, I can side panic! <laughs> oh, never mind! Nah, I'll gust of wind it, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, the... Oh, 202 gust of winds! Oh, that's game over! Because there's two prize cards left! So we're gonna put out the Kadabra. But yeah, I was thinking about just attacking with the Kangaskhan, but... Yeah, I showed that last game, so you know, if I can side panic, sure, sure. Bill 2. And oh, he's even got less cards than I do in general, so. You might. You can't. Probably can't even stall me out to. Oh, but. What happens in a text? Do mine. You can. Level 28. In Sevzabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzidabuzid
Okay, at least until I call you again sometime. So, horsey coin, I suppose, will go up next. How about you? Sealed trainer deck. Now, this could be a bit of an issue because of the uh, dark vile plume. But, you know, with the mock, that's that's the counter to it, so it could be a 50 50 game here. Are you Chowsery? You got guts, kid! Now, this is exactly what the Dark Mock was made for. Well, I should say it was played for. You know, Dark Vile Plume wasn't made before or during Dark Mock's time, so you know what I mean. <laughs> time for me to break out, break out my Sealed Trainer deck again. So, this is different uh, dialogues. And. Must of luck. I've really gotta get that Mock very quickly. <laughs> if he does seal my trainers. I might be a little bit on the stuck side. Um. Hmm. I don't have my Grimer. Oh, jeez. Well, I could go for double colorless. He's on that most likely Professor Oak next turn, and he can't evolve on his first turn. So hopefully things will work out. <laughs> And hopefully he's not playing Psyduck like I should- Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I know he plays Psyduck. It's just a thing out that, uh... I, I was hoping he wouldn't have it on his opening hand. Well, that could be game over for me, but we'll see. His headache comes into play, but I could possibly knock out that Psyduck. Because, yeah, now I can't do any sort of Professor Oaking. But I can, uh... At least, I, at least I have uh, Clefable to do stuff anyway. Swords Dance to get things off. And perhaps I can wipe out that uh, Psyduck. Oh man! <laughs> He's using this Turbo Draw as I showed before. He's also using the uh, Haunter to combine with the uh, trainer cards that people inevitably stack up in their hand. Uh, but at the, right, at the same time... We're in good shape, thanks to that cut double colorless energy, so I got good luck for once. <laughs> and rocket sneak attack, so yeah, now that the side duck is out and I can use trainers, hopefully... Oh jeez! I was gonna say, hopefully he won't be able to get Dark File Boom out. But I'm pretty sure he runs Pokemon Breeder? I thought? Maybe? Oh jeez, it's gonna be a back and forth battle, isn't it? Dark Gloom, Pollen Stench could be a factor. We'll see if he uses it. He does. Uh, yeah! <laughs> so that worked in my favor. And that's the only Dark Gloom he's got, so. And no Snorlax in his deck, I don't believe, so. Oh, yeah, 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 Grimer! Okay, we got stuff going here now. Wait, wait, I didn't evolve into Clefable right away. There's more HP. Um. I should put that in play. I don't have anything that nightly garbage run, do I? Well, yeah, I didn't think so. Um, uh, let's rock a sneak attack. I don't like the looks of that. <laughs> well, anyway, looks like I only have one choice, and that is Pokemon Trader. But he's already got what he needs, so uh, it's not super helpful. Put this on Clefable. And hope to Arceus, I get a muck because I might be stuck then, or something to search out a muck. Um, hmm. that actually could be something because I might be able to uh, wipe out those dark vile plumes. Maybe I don't know what's, what he's got in his hand because it doesn't say. It's just you know random choices. You pick cards out of your opponent's hand blindly. Or in this case, it just happens automatically, of course, but I mean, IRL would be picking cards out of your opponent's hand bl blindly. Um... Hmm... Uh, Kangaskhan, but... I don't have my muck! That could be a problem! Well... We shall see, I suppose. Just wait, Slash is so probably Slash, because he's gonna go for the Pollen Stench again. Yep, there it is. Tails, please. Oh, man. I might be able to do a retreat, because Scyther's got a free retreat. I just need the coin flip. I can retreat back over to it. Oh, it's in a play! 
<laughs> hopefully I'm established enough, or hopefully I get a mock, because no more trainer cards for me. At least as of right now, and same for him as well, but the idea is to play the Dark Vile Plume when you've already got an established board, so... Yeah! <laughs> um... So now I can't gust of wind that over, of course. Can't super energy removal anything. Maybe this board is not established after all. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm just gonna try for the retreat to the Scyther heads, please, and then go back to the other. Oh man. Oh, uh, I guess I could try for the slash. It could hurt. It did. <laughs> yeah, I had to try it, I guess. Didn't. Otherwise, like, I mean, I could have ended my turn as well, but. Uh... At this moment in time, I kind of want to try and put as much pressure on him as possible so he doesn't get very well established, especially with that Haunter that could happen with the... Yeah. Can't play Switch. I'm going to try the Retreat again. Oh, no! Well, I failed anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't necessarily want to put up Clef Fable yet. I guess it would have been fine if I did, but... Anyways, Slash again, I guess. Man! My luck has gone down the pooper. <laughs> so yeah, this is... As I was mentioning before, as I showed you the powers of the Dark Vile Plume, it isn't really a uh, card that should have been made, in all honesty. <laughs> just, just saying, just saying. Anyway, so the Poltergeist is a uh, psychic type, so I could just go with Clefable now and Poltergeist him. Uh... Which I probably should. I don't know how many trainer cards he's got accumulated, because remember, he can't play trainer cards either, so this is going to work sort of against him. Possibly, maybe, depends on the situation. So let's go... Hmm. That's a zero. <laughs> well, I guess I should have went with the other attack then. Hmm. I thought he might have accumulated some, but nope. So, Poltergeist for uh, 10 damage. Because I just threw the uh, Gust of Wind, so that puts me up to four trainer cards. Uh, that's not up to five. Um, I'm going to go with... Whoops, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the uh, Nightmare this time. Tails. That's, uh, that might still work out, because the Tails status effect is going to stick with them longer than the Sleep might end up, so... We shall see if... Oh, he is going to try. Ah, oh, he made it the attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Come on, muck! Come on, muck! Oh, well, that's just accumulating that. Uh, nightmare. Tails again, hopefully. Thank you. Because I'm, I'm hoping to do uh, extra damage via confusion, so. Hopefully, hopefully. But knowing the opponent's coin flips, that'll probably never happen. But, <laughs> oh, yeah, sure enough. <laughs> And since I'm accumulating trainer cards, that nightmare just keeps on getting more powerful. Grimer, um... I don't know if I should consider starting to attach energy cards to other stuff. You're probably like, why why, why, were, why weren't you doing that earlier? Well, that's kind of... Because I wanted to know what I needed to do next, basically. Um... So yeah, I'm going to go with the Grimer. And Nightmare, it doesn't really matter. Uh, actually, maybe it will, because if it wakes up, and it probably w will wake up, it'll uh, be able to attack without any sort of risk of confusion. Oh, sure enough, it woke up. <laughs> how? It's just, how do they get the coin flips? <laughs> Alright, go ahead and knock out Clefable. I'll finish off the uh, uh, Haunter then with the Grimer, and we shall see how things turn off from there. Oh, Scyther... Uh, it, oh, that other Haunter might be an issue. Uh, well... I might... well... I'd be better off Kangaskhan, because with Dark Vile Plume, I can use its fetch to grab stuff. Because he's gonna really... he's gonna mop the floor with Grimer's double weakness. To, I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the weakness to the Haunter. Uh, I should probably put that Grimer in play, just in case I get a, a muck somewhere around in here, and... Nasty Goo for the KO. Come on, give me a muck in the prize cards! <laughs> Needs that smucks. 
Clefable might be okay. Because remember, it's got the cheap metronome and everything like that, so... Alright. Let's, let's see how much damage it does now. Uh, I, I didn't count how many trainers I had. It's gonna do 120, <laughs> 120 damage. So I got six trainers. Alright, so it's gonna do 30 damage per attack to Kangaskhan. Um... I should probably get Scyther going, and I should- oh, that, that's right, the, uh, Clefairy Cake Clefable for later. Oh, I don't have- oh, shoot, I probably shouldn't have- well. In any case, I'm gonna fetch. I have, uh, three turns to get a mock or something. Ooh, Rocket Sneak Attack would be nice, but, uh, that makes things a little bit worse, actually. <laughs> this is gonna cause 40 damage, now. That's the power of the hunter dark fly plume combo. Bill uh, got more powerful. That means Kangaskhan can be knocked out. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Um. Fetch, please. Muck! I need a muck! <laughs> just got more powerful. So yeah. This, his deck seems to be working just fine. Anyway. Yeah, that's uh, kind of the issue that I was worried about, because. Yeah, you need to get the muck before the Dark Vile Plume hits the field to have a chance. And yes. <laughs> um probably better off using the Clefable if I can, but you shall see. At least I got double colorless then. There is no uh, energy removal happening here. Um Yeah, metronome. Wait. Should I go for the poltergeist or the nightmare? Because I don't know how many cards he's been accumulating. Probably the Nightmare, because he doesn't use that many trainer cards. And I'll also get a status effect out of it. Confusion's nice. Alright, so maybe he can cause a mass double damage of Confusion to himself. Probably not, though, because, you know, coin flips never work in my favor. Unreal. <laughs> oh, man. 60 damage. It's almost a knockout to Clefable, but not quite. So, we're actually then in... I was gonna say, we're in fairly decent shape then, I guess. But actually, I don't know. Um... Hmm. I will be able to knock out the Haunter. But... Still have no muck. <laughs> uh, and I don't want to put out the Grimer, because the idea is to get muck to disable the Vile Plume, and then I'll be able to draw basically my entire deck. Uh, hmm. Should I try and get another Scyther going maybe? Because I might get double colorless. Hmm. Well I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> it has about as actually it's probably a better slightly better chance than the muck. Um Hmm. Could put. Hmm, I was thinking I could put the Clefairy out and try and sing. No. I think I might be better off trying to attack with Scyther. Probably. Metronome! Nightmare! Doesn't matter, it's gonna do 20 and <laughs> knock out the Haunter. But then that Dark Goldock is just going to. Retaliate. Energy removal, no mock. <laughs> Oddish. Super side to finish the job. It's gonna do 20 damage because of the resist. 50? Wait, why 50? Wait, is neutral damage in play? Hmm, I'm gonna put out this Scyther. Uh, just to save myself. Uh, why does it do 50? Oh, that's. It's a, yeah, that's right, it's a water type, not psychic type. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it just uses psychic energy, remember? Uh, that ain't happening, so... We're gonna go... Probably... Actually, what I'm gonna do here, retreat to the other Scyther. Put that on this, and attack with Sword. Or should I Slash? Because he might do a switch if I do a Slash. Uh, hmm, and he can't heal, there's no trainer cards. Um, also no plus power defender. Hmm. 
probably better off slashing then. Like, rather than just trying to put out... I mean, rather than attack whatever he's got. Yeah. And Dark Gloom. Oh, that might actually work in my favor. We shall see if he decides to use it. He didn't. <laughs> I was going to say, the Pollen Stench could be a uh, factor there. But, no. Uh, Bill. So you have one prize card left. That's another issue. Uh, I don't really see any threat to uh, Scyther, though. So, Slash, finish off the Dark Golduck, and hopefully get that mock <laughs> Bill. <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch because of the risk of Nightmare, if I can. So, oh, no confusion. Because, yeah, the, uh, uh, it's at 10 HP, he's got one prize card left, so. Uh, retreat to, I guess, the other Scyther. And that's really all I should be doing here. But yeah, I got, got rid of the other threat, which was the Dark Golduck, and now we can just kind of wait things out here. As a matter of fact, I could kind of free-switch back and forth between Scythers to heal this one, possibly. Let's just see if I can do so here. Let's get rid of that. Nah, it doesn't matter right now, I suppose, but anyway, I'm done. <laughs> 20 cards left in the deck, so... It could be a muck somewhere in there, it could be in the prize cards, but yeah, I just absolutely need some sort of muck, that's for sure. <gasps> there it is! My savior! <laughs> okay, so now I need to retreat into the other Scyther so I can do other stuff, thank you. And I don't want to leave the Scyther out, obviously. It's just going to be a matter of now setting something else up. In this case, I'm thinking of going for another Clefable, just because of its resistances. Uh, as a matter of fact, with everything out there right now, I probably should ought to just flat out retreat into the Clefairy. Actually, I probably should have put that Clefairy out there earlier. Uh, super energy removal. I'll take advantage of my uh, low HP Scyther to wipe out those. Energy removal on the Psyduck. And probably should get to drawn. <laughs> Uh, grass, Scyther... Oh, I could go for a Scyther attack, too, and that would be fine. Uh, but I'll put that on Clefairy for now. I'll probably be able to get the other Clefable somewhere around here. Actually, what I think I should do is, uh... Rocket's Trap. Kind of disable his hand, <laughs> if I can. Because I got the other, uh... I basically gotta dump out a lot of stuff here. Uh, as long as I have the opportunity to. And Rocket Sneak Attack. Um... Hmm. Probably... the Professor Oak. And then the other Professor Oak. With this. Because that seems to be the biggest benefit. And... Then I'm gonna computer search for a Clefable. Hope it's in my deck. <laughs> um... I'll discard... I suppose the bill, and... Oh, I could've put Nightly Garbage... I mean, I could've used Nightly Garbage on to put Clefable back in that deck. Ah, misplay on my part! I forgot I had it in there, because I haven't been able to play trainer cards for a while. Um... I don't, don't want to discard either the switches or energy removals. Nor the Nightly Garbage run in case, you know. Uh... But I'll probably get the most benefit out of the discarding Gust of Wind. Alright, Clefable, yes, it's in there. My third one? Can't play it, though, just yet, so I'm just gonna use Sing. And call it a turn. Because I think we are back in good shape after <laughs> being locked down with the powers of the Dark Vile Plume. He seems very happy, though. Trading for Mr. Mime's neutral damage. Uh, I mean, put, put, excuse me, put Mr. Mime back in the deck for, uh... Wait, actually, why wouldn't, why wouldn't he... Oh, because Mucks in play, it doesn't matter, that's right. I always forget all those Pokémon powers get wiped out, I swear. And no attacky tackies. Alright. Looking good. Now... Oops. Now we do that. Probably energy removal, the Dark Vile Plume. Actually, wait, isn't that 
Why, why did you attach that to... I guess maybe that was to bait me, I don't know. Uh, should I nightly garbage run something back in the deck? I don't know if I need to. Although maybe I probably should do so because of the, uh, the chance of the dark muck being wiped or something like that. There, metronome. We're gonna go for the darkness. Oh yeah, and Frighten can also prevent trainer card use, so it's an alternative to Psyduck. But anyway, that will do. And we are in decent shape. I wonder if I should go now over to the Scyther. Uh, he's kind of stuck too now. Mm, there's my other, Cle <laughs> other Clefable. Yeah, I wonder if I should go to the... Like, focus on this Scyther if I can? I don't know. I think I'm in decent shape as is. I'll just go for the Metronome. I could actually Gust the Wind into, say, Dark Bile Plume and get a more powerful attack, but... As of right now, I'm... Yeah, I'm doing pretty well, so I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. See how things turn out. Clefairy... Um... Do I want to put that in play? Probably. Although, maybe I shouldn't gust the wind to uh, Dark Vile Plume, because then I can wipe it out outright with the Petal Whirlwind. Oh wait, does Petal Whirlwind cause confusion after it's used? Yeah, um, I have Switch. I guess I should, yeah, I think I'll take advantage of the Switch. Petal Whirlwind, two heads please, that would be very nice. I just want to get rid of that Dark Vile Plume. Those coin flips. Oh, wait! Why didn't that aff status effect affect Clefable? That. What? That should have. Copies that attack except for its energy cost and anything else required in order to use that attack, such as discarding energy. Yeah, it doesn't mention. Is. Does the confusion count as a requirement? I don't think so, because you could use this while blocking status effects, and yeah, so why didn't that, is that a bug? Or am I not understanding this rule? It's like every so often I come across a situation in a trading card game where it's like, wait, do I know the rules as well as I thought I did? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, well anyway, I'm gonna go for that again, anyway. So I guess I won't need the switch after all. I, I would have swore I would have needed the switch after using that. But there goes Dark Vile Plume. We're both down to one prize card. That uh, Psyduck might be quickly wipeoutable. <laughs> I might actually uh, force a gust of wind onto the... Uh, well, you can do that, I guess. I was going to say force a uh, gust of wind to... Um, go over to the Dark Vile Plume, because the Dark Vile Plume has got a 2 retreat cost, so I don't see it being able to escape that. Oh wait, I don't... Did I, did I discard the... Oh yeah, I think I discarded the Gust of Wind instead of the Switch. Well... Mm, I do have the Super Psy with that Dark Golduck, but it wouldn't be the possible knockout that Petal Whirlwind would be. Eh... Uh, well, it's not going to be able to use Super Psy anyway, so... Super Psy! And, by the way, with the third eye thing... Remember, I could just use that to draw three cards any time. <laughs> without any sort of energy discard, because the Metronome ha has that effect that you ignore energy discard effects of... Yup. It's energy cost, use that stack, so it says discarding energy cards, yup, yup, yup. So, in any case, it looks like I turned this game around and won! Woohoo! Thank you, Muck, for defeating the Meta. <laughs> so yeah, that, that Dark Vile Plume is truly a beast. <laughs> Dang it all! In the end, I lost. Guess it was inevitable. Here, take this booster pack. And it's a present, of course. Ooh! Always happy to see one of those bad boys. <laughs> Double colorless energy is also always nice to see in general. Uh, yeah, done. Mark my words, kid. I won't be defeated next time. Bye! <laughs>
<laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when the fourth one, and maybe the fifth one, will be defeated. Okay, probably will be the fifth one, because that's Toby. <laughs>